Percolators are overrated. I used to think the more percolators you'd get on a glass piece that the better that that piece was. And I actually have a ton of pieces. I'm crossing into the threshold of like over a hundred different pieces to smoke out of. And most of these hold water, but almost all the pieces behind me have a single percolator. And I don't really get anything with a ton of percolators on it because they're just simply overrated. And at a certain point, you're not really doing much more with more percolators. When you look into percolators, most people talk about diffusion and filtration. You're cooling your smoke off and then you're cleaning it up a little bit. But at a certain point, adding more percolators isn't filtering it much more. And you're not really doing that much more with all the diffusion. If you've ever smoked with me on my Twitch stream, you know that I like to use warm water in my piece. I use like a single stage beaker with a very basic downstem open hole that provides just some simple bubbling, some simple percolation. I use warm water in the piece. I think that warm water actually helps you to create more diffusion. Like warmer water has a lower viscosity, so it's gonna create more bubbles. You ever see somebody that puts like ketchup or like ranch dressing in their bung just for the shock value? Like, oh, look at me. But then when they go to hit it, it just creates like one open airway between like the downstem and then the opening and there's no bubbles. You don't see the ketchup or the delicious ranch terps bubble in there. I think that using warm water provides more bubbles when you percolate and you get more water contact with the smoke. But I really don't think that you want to cool it off that much. Warm water still cools down the hit, but I really don't need it that cool. Now, people also talk about filtration, but they talk about it in a way like every time that your smoke touches the water that it's just getting cleaned up and they're removing all the nasty stuff, which I really don't think that's the case. If you saw my video on resin lips the other day, I hit my quad bubbler was nice and clean with an ash catcher on it. It was five percolators that the smoke went through. And by the time the smoke hit my lips, both of my lips had resin on them. You think with all those percolators, it would just clean all that resin out, but that's not what it's doing. It's just helping to catch the solids. Obviously, if you use a dry pipe, you pulled solids through, but it's not like scrubbing the smoke clean. I don't know. I think I used to have this image in my head that the more bubbles, the more percolators it went through. It was just like making that smoke super duper clean. But I've hit pieces with like 12, 13 percolators on it. And still, by the time the smoke hits your lips or hits your lungs, it's not like super clean. It's not like, oh my God, this is the best smoke that I've ever hit. More percolators on a piece just usually means it's harder to pull. And then it's also harder to clean. I'd find myself in this constant state of using like a piece that was kind of clean, not really clean, because I wanted to use a piece that had like two or three percolators on it. And then I'd use an ash catcher. I'd clean the ash catcher every day, but then I'd let the piece get a little bit dirty just because percolators are harder to clean on a piece. It's harder to fill that up with a little bit of alcohol and shake it all through. So if you use a piece every day and you want to clean it every day, percolators slow you down too. I don't think that they're making the hit that much better. I don't even think that they really make the hit better. So if you using something with a ton of percolators because you think you're getting a better hit try like a single stage beaker try something with basic percolation so much easier to clean but I, I really don't think that adding four or five more percolators on your piece makes it hit four or five times better I don't even think it makes a hit 10% better like most of the pieces behind me have one percolator I do have a few there's a few like straight tubes over here with three percolators on them but I really don't use them that often they're not like better it's not like oh my god I can't wait to hit this piece it's like ah, oh, if I hit that when the hits on it are gonna be okay but it's gonna be a bitch to clean there's gonna be this one spot in the percolator where a solid got caught i can't get it out i don't know i've used all different kinds of percolators i've used the ones that do a crazy good job you ever used a crushed disc percolator most perks just have little slits and the more slits the more bubbles but a crushed disc or or crushed glass or rooster glass most people call it rooster apparatus i think is like the original style that a lot of stuff is modeled after but i have an ash catcher and i had another piece back in the day that has a crushed glass disc in it so that the water and the air passes through like a bunch of different cracks and holes in crushed glass. It gives some of the craziest bubbles I've ever seen, but the hits on it weren't like, oh my God, this is amazing. I just noticed that it would get dirty much quicker or clog a lot easier. Like you pull any solids through, they just get caught in those little holes. And also resin kind of builds up in those little holes a little bit easier. So I think at a certain extent or to a certain extent, you do want some diffusion, but I don't think that adding six, seven, adding more percolators on it is gonna make it that much better. Like you do want some, you want a little bit. You want the smoke to cool down a little bit. I, I don't want it to cool down a bunch, personally. I use warm water. 
it still cools down when you use warm water because the warm water is much cooler than the smoke but still i don't like ice in my hits i don't like doing really cold hits i feel like when i use ice it just really condenses that smoke and gives me like a lot of resin on my lips and teeth but i think regardless of the temperature using warm water room temperature cold or whatever i think just one percolator is much better i don't think adding a second percolator a third percolator on makes it twice as good three times as good and i've seriously i've used so many different pieces i've used so many different pieces i used to stack ash catchers onto straight tubes that already had a bunch of percolators i used to hit stuff with like five six percolators minimum and now every time if you catch me on a session on my twitch stream i'm using like a single stage beaker or a bong that has a single stage just one percolator and it doesn't stop me from taking big hits it doesn't even help me to not cough on my hits most of the time when i smoke i don't just go into a coughing fit after each hit and i don't think if i used more percolators it'd make me less likely to cough i think in some cases it would slow down the hit make it less smooth for me overall and possibly more likely to cough anyways come get high with me i'll go live on twitch after 9 p.m eastern and if you heard me talk about resin lips and you want to hear how i beat resin lips check out this video right here i'm actually learning most people have no idea what this is or what i'm talking about but it's a real phenomenon for people that take massive rips like me have a lit day my dudes